Russ Peterson. I own this 47 Chev Aero Sedan. The Aero Sedan body style dates back to 1942. This car is done in a traditional style. It resembles a car that you would have done in the early 60s. They came from the factory with a two inch chop top and so therefore they're they're significantly lower than the uh, stock two-door sedans are. And also the B-pillar here is slanted, which gives them an aerodynamic look. And the word aero comes from, uh, this is a world of aerodynamics back in the early 40s. It's a great body style that never gets old. It has wide white walls and 57 CAD wheel covers, which is probably the most uh, popular wheel and tire combination from that era. The Fleetline Aero sedans were unique with these moldings. Every one of the moldings on this car is different. And I think there's 24 moldings total with the fender skirts. Uh, there's no two moldings alike on it, which today is very, very hard to find, but it adds a great look to the car, so. And this was available only on the Fleetline Aero sedans and the convertibles. The car has all new glass, all new exhaust, new brakes. There's nothing that is old on this car. The chassis is all late model with power steering, power disc brakes, overdrive transmission, like you say, computerized fuel injection. The car has been subframed with a Camaro or Nova front frame stub. It has a uh, S10 rear end in it with chassis engineering uh, springs in the back. And goes down the road at 23 miles to the gallon. The 5.3 GM or Chevrolet motor in this puts out around 300 horse and the Whipple supercharger adds 120 horsepower and 140 pounds of torque. This is a great combination. 